How to acclimate saltwater fish, corals, and inverts. For saltwater fish, the preferred acclimation method is to float the bag for about 30 minutes in order to equalize temperature, and then release the fish into the aquarium. It is very important not to open the sealed bag until you are actually ready to release the fish, and do not pour any of the bag water into your aquarium water. However, float and release is only appropriate if the salinity of the receiving tank matches that of the bag water within 0.001 SG. Therefore, it is wise to always use a quarantine or holding tank upon receiving new fish, because most vendors keep their fish in much lower salinity than what we typically would keep our display tanks. A quarantine or holding tank allows you to preset the salinity to match the bag water, or you can quickly make adjustments if necessary to the tank salinity. If difference in salinity between bag water and receiving tank is 0.002 SG or greater, then it is usually advisable to drip acclimate the fish in a bucket using crimped airline tubing, or you can pour tank water into the bucket every 10 minutes using a cup. One exception worth noting is that fish typically handle going down in salinity much easier than going up. So you may be able to get away with float and release if the bag water is just a few points higher in salinity than your receiving tank. However, one scenario where you should always drip acclimate is if a fish has been in a bag for a few days or longer and the pH of the bag water has become acidic. Usually a 30 to 60 minute drip acclimation will suffice if the bag water is just a few points below the receiving tank salinity. Longer is required as the difference in salinity gets further apart. Please remember to use a heater, air pump, and an ammonia reducing agent if the drip acclimation is going to take 30 minutes or longer. One caveat is if the bag water contains copper, and in that scenario, an ammonia reducing agent should never be used. Corals and inverts are more sensitive to changing water chemistry and thus should always be drip acclimated. This is true of anemones, shrimp, crabs, snails, and especially starfish and sea urchins. Same rules apply as when drip acclimating fish. Use a heater, air pump, and an ammonia reducing agent if the drip acclimation is going to take longer than 30 minutes. Corals, anemones, and clams should all be light acclimated once placed in your aquarium. This means getting them adjusted to the type and intensity of light that you are using, which can be accomplished in a number of ways. You can place light-sensitive corals and clams in a shaded area of your tank and then move them up and or out into more intensive light over a period of a couple of weeks. Another option is to use layers of dark screen mesh in conjunction with an egg crate top over the aquarium, gradually removing one layer at a time. Hardier corals and anemones do fine with just running less intensive lighting for a day or two and or reducing your photo period initially. Thank you for watching this video. See links in the comments section for more detailed information and join us on my forum for all reef aquarium related discussion.